So let's talk about the best foods that you can eat to help clean your brain and reduce neuroinflammation. And also if you stay tuned to the very end of this video, I'm going to share with you the one great tip that you must follow that is very, very important for the brain. Now, what exactly does it take to actually clean your brain to reduce neuroinflammation? Well, it actually boils down to three major factors. Number one is anti-inflammatory rich foods, food rich in fiber, and food rich in probiotics. These are the three things that you actually need to help clean your brain and reduce neuroinflammation. Now, when you have dirt in your brain, when you have inflammation in your brain, a lot of things can easily go wrong. You could have stroke, you could have amyloid buildup in your brain, which can result in neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and dementia. You could have chronic fatigue, you could have poor immune response, there is going to be loss of neuroplasticity, you're going to have poor judgment, you're going to have confusion, you're going to have memory issue. All of these things can happen if you have problem with your brain, if you have death in your brain. Okay? Now there are a couple of things that can make you to that can make you to have inflammation in your brain, that can make you to have thousands build up in your brain. Two major things. Number one is imbalance in your gut microbiome, which is your friendly bacteria. And number two is poor diet, excessive intake of refined carbohydrates, bread, rice, pasta, crackers, cereals, and sodas, excessive intake of red meat and processed meats that can contribute to inflammation. Okay. Now, the other thing that can also contribute is refined sugar, like fructose and high fructose corn syrup that can also contribute. And then there is vegetable oil like corn oil, seed oil, sunflower oil, soybeans oil. All of these are actually pro-inflammatory. They are very high in omega-6 fatty acids. And then there is hydrogenated oil, which is high in trans fats. All of these can actually result in a lot of problems in your brain. So let's get into some of the foods that you need to start eating to help clean your brain, to help reset your brain and reduce inflammation in your brain and reduce neuroinflammation. Okay. Now the first food which I'm going to share with you in this video is actually extra virgin oil. Extra virgin oil is very good for the body and in fact, it contains the most heaviest form of fat which is monounsaturated fat like oleic acid that has a lot of important roles in the body in lowering your cholesterol, in reducing inflammation, in lowering your triglycerol, in lowering your blood pressure, okay? And aside from that, it's also very beneficial for those people who have diabetes because it has improved insulin function by reducing insulin resistance. But the major anti-inflammatory compound in extra virgin oil is called oleocanthal, and this compound is very effective in lowering inflammation in the brain in reducing neuroinflammation. And studies have actually compared the anti-inflammatory effect of this compound to that of anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen. So instead of taking all those oil that are high in omega-6 fatty acids like corn oil, soybeans oil, sunflower oil, try taking extra virgin oil. Extra virgin oil is far better, okay? And the other thing you can also do with extra virgin oil is by taking two tablespoons of this oil immediately you wake up from sleep in the morning and also at night before you go to bed. All of these are going to provide several benefits for your body, including your brain. All right. Now, the second food I also recommend you start taking to reduce neuroinflammation is fatty fish. Fatty fish is very good for the brain. I'm talking about herring, sardine, tuna, mackerel. All of these are actually high in omega-3 fatty acid, which can help reduce inflammation in the body. Now, there are two major types of omega-3. There is EPA and there is DHA. All, both of these nutrients are actually very beneficial for the brain. And in fact, the brain contains high amount of omega-3 fatty acids. Okay? So, if you are deficient in this omega-3 fatty acid, that can actually result in a lot of problems in the brain. Now, the other interesting thing about omega-3 fatty acid is that they are metabolized into special pro-resolving mediators like protectin and resolving. This compound actually help promote the resolution of neuroinflammation. They help reduce inflammation in the brain. So omega-3 fatty acid actually has a lot of interesting roles in the body. I would actually recommend you start taking fatty fish because 
they are a great source of omega-3 fatty acid that are much bioavailable than the ones which you can get from plant-based diet all right now number three is by taking turmeric turmeric is also very good for the brain it is it contains this compound called curcumin which is very anti-inflammatory it can help reduce inflammation in the brain so i would also recommend you start taking turmeric all right the next item on the list is broccoli and i'm talking about broccoli sprouts which is the few days old broccoli now broccoli is a cruciferous vegetable that has a lot of interesting benefits and the major active ingredient in this vegetable is called sulforaphane this sulforaphane is very anti-cancer it's very anti-inflammatory okay it helps reduce inflammation in your body it also stimulates the production of some digestive enzyme and also helps detoxify the liver it helps the liver to carry out all of those functions in removing heavy metals like mercury and arsenic from the body and aside from that broccoli is also a great source of soluble fiber like which is a prebiotic okay now prebiotic actually serve as food for those friendly bacteria in the gut now what i want you to understand is that there is actually a communication there is a connection between your gut and your brain, between your stomach and your brain, which is called the gut-brain connection or the gut-brain axis. Anything that happens to your gut can actually affect your brain. And also, anything that affects your brain can affect your gut, okay? So when you have high levels of unfriendly bacteria in your gut, that can result in leaky gut. The thousands that this bacteria releases can actually pass through the blood-brain barrier and go to the brain where they're going to trigger inflammation and that can result in neuroinflammation. So by eating broccoli, which is rich in fiber, which is rich in prebiotic, that is going to serve as food for those friendly bacteria in your gut and that can help eliminate the bad bacteria that can result in neuroinflammation. So I would highly recommend you start eating broccoli and there are a whole lot of ways in which you can enjoy this vegetable. You can add it into your salad that is perfectly fine okay all right number five is by eating yogurt now the reason i actually recommend yogurt is that yogurt is a great source of probiotic it's a great source of friendly bacteria so if you have low friendly bacteria in your gut which can result in leaky gut as well as neuroinflammation by eating yogurt which is high in probiotic that can contribute to high levels of friendly bacteria in your gut that can actually protect your brain that can prevent neuroinflammation all right number six is mushroom and i'm talking about reishi mushroom and shiitake mushroom both of these mushrooms are high in beta glucan which is a polysaccharide which is a soluble fiber that nourishes the gut bacteria okay so by taking this mushroom that is going to provide your body with a lot of Important benefit and aside from that they also have other anti-inflammatory ingredients that can support your brain health all right number seven which is the last thing on the puzzle is by eating tomatoes tomatoes is a great source of lycopene which is a very powerful antioxidant it can help reduce inflammation in your brain and aside from that tomatoes also reduce brain aging by stimulating or by increasing what is called bdnf which stands for brain derived neurotrophic factor this bdnf stimulates the growth and the development of new cells in the brain and also helps repair damaged brain cells okay so by eating tomatoes it's not just going to provide your body with lycopene which has reduced neuroinflammation but also helps increase bdnf which is brain derived neurotrophic factor now remember the bonus tip which i'm going to share with you in this video this bonus tip is by maintaining proper sleep management getting enough sleep is very important for the brain and the studies have reported that when you are sleeping there are some slow waves in the brain that pushes some fluid into the surface of the brain this fluid actually contains thousands which are then absorbed into the blood and transferred to the liver and the kidney where they are eliminated from your body so getting enough sleep is very very important in removing toxins from the brain and in cleaning the brain all right thanks for watching